You've probably heard the term helicopter parent, but is a helicopter parent a bad parent? The term helicopter parents I first heard when I was reading a book called Parenting with Love and Logic. Do you remember this I one, love Vicky? That book. Mm -hmm. Foster Klein and Jim Fay really had an amazing impact on me in my professional development and on us as parents. Right. They coined the term helicopter parent. Now, what it means, if you can picture a helicopter, for starters, it's it's got the rotors right. up on top and that allows it to hover and it just kind of sits in the air. Helicopter parents hover. <laughs> Over everything this? their child does. Mm -hmm. Right. I think the reason we hover, Vicki, is because we want to make sure that they... Whatever. <laughs> Right. right. Make sure that they do their chores. Make sure that they get their homework done. Make sure that they're safe. Make sure that they're treated right. Make sure everything. You know, I think we need to remember that it's it's actually kind of natural for us to want to hover. That's a very natural yes. tendency. And so we don't want to beat ourselves up for it because it is kind of natural. My whole job as a mom, you know, is... Love, them, love, no them, no, it, <laughs> love right. them no matter what and even if. But, you know this. Yes, but part of it, you feel like, boy, I just need to teach them so much and make sure they're safe and send them out in this world right. the best they can. You know, we get really stuck in that thought process. And so in, the, in doing so, we want to kind of watch over them and hover a little bit. The question that we let out with, is a helicopter parent a bad parent? No. But there are some very specific consequences to that hovering. And you know what is the most interesting to me? I didn't actually see this as a consequence while my children were little. I kind of came across it when they were older. And that is that when you hover over them, you are sending the message, I don't really trust you to be able to handle this. And it never dawned on me that that might be what I'm telling my child by kind of right. being helpful. I saw myself as trying to be helpful, stepping in, doing things, providing things for them, information, trying to protect them from rough situations. And it didn't even dawn on me that by doing that, I was saying, you know, I don't really trust you to be able to handle this. Let's take a little closer look at that. What are the messages that we send when we're hovering or being a helicopter parent. Vicki just mentioned that the I don't really trust you to be able to handle this message mm -hmm. is hidden in the hovering. Like I don't even think I ever even thought about that being a message I was sending until I looked at it from the outside through another person's blog. Well, let's take that up a step. Mm -hmm. You're not capable of handling this. Can you imagine actually telling your child that? <laughs> But that's kind of what the hovering says. Right. It's like, okay. I'm going to stay right here. I'm going to make sure that you do this thing that I asked you to do because you obviously are not capable enough, smart enough, bright enough to handle this on your own. <laughs> that's not a message we want to send, right? That's pretty harsh, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Another message is, you know, don't worry. I'll do the thinking for you. Let, let me figure it all out and just hand it to you because I'll do the thinking. Ooh, economically, just think about how that's going to impact your child. Because kids are constantly trying to figure out, okay, what's going to be the easiest thing for me to do here? Should I worry about this? Should I let mom worry about this? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> so they're going to go with let mom worry about it every time. If you're hovering, you're giving the, the message that you're willing to actually do that. Another message that we've kind of gotten in the habit as a community, as a culture telling is that I don't want you to fail. Failure is bad. And I think when we hover, oh, we're kind point. of preventing them from failing. And that message is that failure is bad. That's mm. not a really great message for us to raise our children believing. Because they're going to learn so much from mm -hmm. their mistakes. Matter of fact, I heard it this morning that failure is only bad when you make it into a bad thing for you personally. Do some thinking around that one. Mm -hmm. I think that's really powerful and important. You know, the other thing that it tells our kids when we're hovering or being a helicopter parent, hey, whatever the issue is right now, only important while I'm standing here, <laughs> while I'm physically present, while I'm hovering. Mm -hmm. And that's not really the message we want to send either. So as an alternative, what messages do we want to send our kids? Let's get into that next. Okay. The most powerful message that we can send our child is, 
you are capable of doing this. We want them mm-hmm. to know that we believe in them and that they are capable. Not only that we believe in them, but we want them to learn that they can believe in themselves. I did a video not too long ago about the most damaging thing you could ever tell your child. And it surprised some people to go watch the video. It's right here on the channel. The thing that surprised people, it's you can't. You can't. I think that's the most damaging thing you can tell your child. So like Vicki was saying here, let's send the message that you can handle this. You are capable. You are bright enough. You are smart enough. I know you're going to get this. I'm not too worried about you making a mistake because actually that's probably a good thing in your learning curve. (laughs) You can handle this. It might be just because I don't want to do all of the work or all of the thinking. But it also relates to child development because what if we could send the message, your thinking determines your outcomes. The better thinking you do, the better your life is going to be. And so it's not about me doing all of the thinking for you. I trust you to do that. This is another powerful message that I think we want to send our kids. Right. Yeah. And realizing that my own work is one of the principles of my happiness. This is what we're teaching a child. Your thinking and your work is going to bring about your happiness. Right. And it helps them to link up cause and effect too. Mm -hmm. So that's another good reason to stop the hovering. The bottom line here, you're not a bad parent if you're a helicopter parent. It's a natural thing. Mm -hmm. Like we talked about, I mean, it, it, it kind of comes naturally to most parents to hover. I hope that through this video, you've been able to see that there are some messages we're sending through that, that maybe we didn't even realize we were. Right not really the messages we want to send. There's so many other resources available to you and you can get on top of this. We are not going to leave you hanging. We've got your back as a parent and we are honored to be on your team. Spend some time here on the channel. We have so many videos about this and other topics that you're going to find helpful as you get to be a more positive parent. I saw standing in the street alone, alone, alone. Her head was down, face locked onto the phone.